Hey, what's up guys? Brandon here, and this is just going to be a, a rare haul type video. Just basically what I picked up on vacation. Um, just figured I'd throw this up here because I may not get a chance to read these right away, and I'm pretty excited about some of these books, so just get right into it. Uh, Invincible Iron Man, number 61. Invincible Iron Man, number 62. Iron Man, 63. Iron Man 64, Iron Man 65, Warlock number 10, which is the origin of Thanos, you know, super pumped about this, I thought I had this for the longest time, and noticed that I didn't, so I had to pick it up, House of Secrets number 31, great cover here, love these old uh, horror type books, super pumped about this. Challengers of the Unknown, number 43. Again, great cover. House of Mystery, number 107. Once again, another phenomenal cover. Strange Adventures, number 182. The Glare of Doom. I like how it's censored here, where the, the glare is coming out of. Can't wait to read some of these books. Uh, Superman's Pal Jimmy Olsen, number 79. Adventure Comics, number 349. Great cover here, too. Strange Adventures, number 200. Love this cover. I opened this up and just flipped through it, and it's, it's pretty beat up. The cover's detached. It's still complete, though, so, I mean, hopefully I'll upgrade this copy to a better, you know, better condition one eventually, but I love this, co this cover. The Man with the Comet Head. Pumped. Uh, My Greatest Adventure, number 71. All these covers are phenomenal. Although, at first glance, this cover makes me... It, it, it appears that it's in really terrible condition, but it's actually the way it's supposed to look. It's pretty awesome, though. Strange Adventures, number 241. This is in terrible condition. It's supremely water damaged. There's a big chunk taken out of the back. It's not even in a real bag. It's, it's, it, I mean, it, I don't even want to put this in one of my long boxes, to tell you the truth, so. If, I, if anybody wants this, let me know, because I'll do what I can. And then, these two were just two books I had waiting for me when I got home. It's, uh, House of Mystery, number 156, first appearance of Dial H, and House of Mystery, 157, which is the second appearance. Got these for a great deal off eBay, so I had to pick them up. Once again, not in the greatest condition, but I hope to, at least I have them, and I can read them and enjoy them and hopefully upgrade to better copies at some point. But yeah, that's what I got on vacation. Um, the last time I was at this comic shop, I, I I didn't know much about collecting. I was just getting into it, and it seemed awesome for me, and I was really stoked to go back. But then upon going back, it just it wasn't good at all. I mean, a, 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 most of the books were overpriced. The the I don't know if the guy there working was the owner, but he just tried to like talk. He tried to like talk down to me. I asked him if a book came out, and he told me it didn't come out. Oh no, I asked him if he had it, and he told me it didn't come out. He was just being really negative towards me, and I just don't feel like that's the way you treat a customer. So next time going back there, I probably will not purchase anything from there. Most of these books were purchased from uh, an antique mall. Or a flea market that I went to, and this was uh, this was on Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And um, I'll definitely go back to the antique shop because I loved it. They were good people there, and not bad prices, although some of them conditions a factor. But yeah, this is just some what I picked up, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just got home last night, so I'm gonna try to read my subscriptions tomorrow, and hopefully upload a video tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope. I can make that video tomorrow. <laughs> Just remember, have a great day.